All right, so this is my packing video. Uh, first time packing my um, Globetrotter suitcase uh, for an actual uh, trip that I'm going on. So, thought this might be interesting uh, to some people to see kind of how it how it all plays out. Um, the functionality of it, I, I suppose. Um, so, I think, I, I did this once, uh, sort of a practice run a few weeks back, uh, just to see uh, how it might go. Um, and honestly, it fit pretty much four days um, worth of uh, stuff in it. Um, so, give me a second. Here we go. So kind of just loosening up the uh, straps here. Uh, I guess I'll get those just sort of out of the way. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to pack everything in this. So uh, yeah, let me give this a shot. Let's see how this goes. Um, let's see. I guess I'll pack my... Um, pants first and then shorts no maybe some okay so those are sort of my casual pants these are my uh, dressier pants um, let's see I'll put the shorts in the side pieces here uh, let's see shirts so I have a couple uh, one, two, three, four, five, five shirts, a uh, couple polos and some button downs. You know, I like to bring a little bit extra uh, just in case. Let me kind of keep everything together if I can. Like sort of like, oh, this would be one with this sort of thing. Um, if I can do that, I think that would probably be the best. Um, go um let's see so now i have like a lot of space in the front and i'll, I'll kind of show you guys from another angle um so i have all my socks in here and all my underwear in here i kind of like to keep things a little separate um just helps it helps you find it easier and also just kind of keeps it uh nicer so yeah now actually i have uh some shorts you know just to uh like sort of my sleepwear um, and there's just so much room uh, here that I can just literally roll up these shorts and um, just put put them like this um, in the fronts here. And then I do have some shirts that are my night shirts, um, and I. I'm pretty, actually think I can just do the same. Um, actually, I think I could just fold it over one more and just kind of stuff them all here. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. <laughs> I kind of, you know, prepped everything uh, beforehand, uh, but man, I mean, this fits just absolutely beautifully. Um, and so what I do also want to fit, um, you know, I have what I'm going to wear out already. So that's kind of like, you know, um, I'm going to wear it tomorrow. So I don't really have to worry about that. Um, so, okay. These, oh, so look at this. Like there's definitely some room. Oh yeah. In between the two here, there's sweet spots for, um, my socks. Um, and, um, not right, right in between here. It's like just a beautiful <laughs> arrangement socks and uh, underwear and that's that's it um, so what I do want to have my jackets and I folded these jackets um, like kind of like a suit jacket oh man look at this this is gonna be just supreme <laughs> this is insane um, so I folded it kind of these are you know these are kind of like lighter weight um, unstructured jackets so they'll go in pretty easy this is a barracuda and I folded all well, both jackets sort of like a suit jacket. Um, you would fold a suit jacket um, where you turn one of the sleeves inside out 
Um, you can look this up online. They have plenty of videos of it. Um, you turn one of the sleeves inside out, and then um, you uh, put the sleeve inside the other sleeve and uh, kind of just fold the jacket once over. Um, it you know it just helps keep the the shape of it um, sort of. So yeah, then you can use these to keep this down. I, you know I don't want to keep it too. Let me try and move this a little centered wise, uh, just so it can kind of center on the jacket. I don't want to, you know, I don't need to uh, keep it tight um, because, uh, you know, it's, I really don't think these things are going anywhere. This is like sufficiently packed. It's pretty amazing. I'm surprised that this is so quick to pack. Once you, if everything's prepped, you know, you just pack it right up and you just loop the, Strap right over here, and I mean, this is just, I'm really surprised by the amount um, that you can fit uh, in this sucker. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and uh, then, uh, come on down. Done. Look at that. I mean, that was fast, right? Um, so, uh, what I'll do now is I'll actually, um, take the jackets out and kind of show you the layout, um, you know, from here and kind of talk more about, um, what I love, uh, about this suitcase, uh, not just from a functional standpoint, but also from a philosophical standpoint. <laughs> All right. So just sort of starting over again. Um, but I took the, um, jackets out only um and just kind of to get show you the how it all kind of played out i got shirts uh sort of lined up here a lot, the button downs um and then underneath are my um you know uh dress trousers again my underwear and socks in these little target bags uh, i'd like to find some cooler bags maybe some from toomey or something or um, you know, Globetrotter would be awesome, but I, I found they don't make them. Um, but you know, these, these bags will do for now. Um, and this is, uh, polos, uh, some po long sleeve polos and then my more casual pants here. I have my shorts that I sleep in, uh, two pairs here, a third pair underneath uh, the three pairs of, um, shirts, uh, night shirts. Uh, that I'll be using. Uh, I actually have another pair of shorts and night shirt. I like to bring one extra of everything. Um, so we're going to Savannah, Georgia, um, and then we're going to Charleston, um, South Carolina. We'll be in Savannah one day and then Charleston two. So um, essentially we'll be gone for four days, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday coming back. Um, so I really only need three, I guess, three pairs, uh, uh, three, three outfits in here, uh, and then one that I'm wearing. Um, but I bring four because, um, just in case, you know, the weather is a little different and I want to, I want to do some, or I decided to do something different. Um, so you'll notice I don't have any of my shoes in here. Um, I don't like putting my shoes with, um, with my, uh, luggage. So I didn't put any of the shoes, um, in here. Um, uh, so let me just, uh, add the jackets again. And as you can see again, like, you know, you can really, you can fit the jackets, um, pretty well. And, and then I'll, I'll I'm going to show the, show the suitcase a little bit more while I talk about it too. Um, yeah. So I don't put shoes in here. I have a separate duffel just for shoes. Um, right now it's just like a Target duffel again, but I actually love to get like the, um, I know we just discovered recently the James Bond, the No Time to Die uh, end uh, like uh, army bag uh, in the military bag. So that would be awesome for a sh as a shoe bag. Cause I really like, I, you know, I, I have a couple Crockett and Jones shoes. I have three pairs right now, definitely be getting more. Um, so, 
I know that, you know, I, I keep, I bring, I wear one pair and I'm bringing two. My wife has some shoes. My son has some shoes he needs to bring extra, you know. So it's like a whole bag. It's just its own duffel. Um, and my son has, you know, a duffel. Um, and my wife has her own suitcase. Um, so, you know, I don't really need anything else. I don't have sunglasses in here. I actually put it in my son's duffels. I could easily put sunglasses in here, but... You know, I just like to keep certain things away from other things. It's just like I don't like shoes with my clothes. I don't really like my sunglasses up against, like, you know, just, like, pants and underwear. I like to keep things kind of separate um, as much as I can. Um, so, but pretty much, this fits pretty much everything. Now, my toiletries, I have a separate bag for that. It's a tote. It's like a small tote. Um... So I can, I can kind of bring that stuff over um, in a second here and um, then we can kind of talk about that a little bit more too. All right, so um, this is the duffel. It's the uh, Spectre duffel. Um, this is my son's duffel, so it's kind of all filled up uh, perfectly ready to go. Um, but it does have my sunglasses in it. Um, this is the tote that I tend to carry around uh, just on our, throughout the day. Um, it's something that I wear, you know, just to hold water bottles and my son's clothes or whatever we might need uh, but this is the tote that i'll probably end up using for my um uh, toiletries um also i bring my lock and co hat just in case uh, you know i can kind of just throw it in the car and it's not a big deal um but yeah so I, this fits like all my toiletries like uh I have this uh, toiletry bag from Toomey that fits right in there that holds pretty much everything. But then, like, I just bring, like, all my uh, shampoo and conditioner and everything, and I just put it in, like, little gallon bags and stuff it in here. Um, um, just and, and my face wash and stuff like that um, that doesn't fit in the little toiletry bag that I have. Um, so this becomes, like, a toiletry tote with a toiletry bag in it. Um, it's not something that I could ever really fit um, in, in the Globetrotter, um, I, you know, I, I could get all the little, like, you know, things and probably just fit my toiletry bag, like, right here, because it's, like, just, like, this big, um, but I, I like to have, like, everything, I don't know, I, I'm lazy about, like, transferring, you know, stuff from, uh, uh, the main, um, container too, like little containers every time I travel. I actually really love traveling. Um, I mean, obviously everyone loves traveling, but I actually love the planning um, too. Uh, I have every day already planned out, uh, you know. Um, but the, here's what, what I want to say about this this piece, this this amazing, amazing Globetrotter piece. Um, a lot of people I've heard say, you know, they, they're kind of afraid to sort of do a Globetrotter because it's just so maybe not very practical um and it's it, I, I get it i guess it's sort of not it's it's very basic it has a hole <laughs> and you fill stuff in that hole i mean it's kind of like uh, a duffel but um it's a little different because you know you have to open it and close it um and latch it and whatnot and um you know it's a little bit easier to carry than a duffel i guess because you know it has the um the wheels um, that you can kind of roll around, um, but the, you know, I know, the duffel has easier access, but you don't really have as much like opportunity with a duffel to sort of organize your stuff. You just kind of pack it up, 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 and, and that's somewhat organized, and that's somewhat what's happening here. But I just feel like there's, 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 a, there's an enjoyment that can be um, had from the type of organization that happens here, and. What I want to say about this compared to other suitcases is it brings you back. It, it really, like, it makes you feel like you're doing something the way it used to be done rather than doing something that's modern. And I was literally just talking about this sort of thing today. It's like, I, I don't, I feel like we live in such a different world now. Um, before with you know things like this uh, social media and all that stuff and our phones always in our hands and stuff and this you know i i kind of like in the new suitcases you know with all their various compartments and 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 structure and 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 hyper organization uh to sort of like cluttering of the mind 
um, that sort of happens. And this, this just, you know, it brings you back. It's like taking the time to shave properly or, 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 you know, getting a new suit or, you know, and, and dressing up and, and, and taking your time to do that. Um, so I, I, I feel like it's an important, um, aspect. So it, it gets pretty heavy. Um, <laughs> it does. It, it, it actually gets uh, decently heavy. Uh, I probably won't carry it as much as I will, um, be just kind of rolling it around um, because of just how heavy it is. I mean, it's, I mean, it's just as heavy as, as this, um, but yeah, I mean, this sucker can get filled up. Um, and so, you know, I don't know. It's just, for me, I think it's just like, you know, look at this. Like I have to press this button and I have to undo these straps and I have to open this and it's just, it's just like, look at the presentation. Like, just look at it. It's, it's beautiful. You know, like, it, it's art. And, and, and it makes you slow down. And, and you don't have to wonder where your stuff is. It's not like a duffel where your stuff is piled so deep and now I gotta grab... I know where everything is. I mean, you can literally tell. Oh, there's my dress shirt, so my dress pants are under there. There's Here's my jacket, here's my... Oh, here's my polo, so my casual uh, chinos are under there. Oh, I got this here, I can see this here, I can see this here, done. My mind is clear. You know what I mean? Like, our minds are so fucking cluttered with stuff all the time now. I just feel like we don't need another thing to do that. And I feel like just doing something so simply, um, you know, just taking something back to its basics. It's just a beautiful thing. And I try to do it in my life, uh, as much as I can. And to be able to do it in, in the way that I travel, um, you know, and if you, if you connect it back to Bond, this is the way Bond traveled. Like, you know, in the sixties, there were, there weren't, um, you know, the new suitcases that they have now and, and with, with all the different uh, compartments and, and all that stuff. And yeah, it makes your life easier, but also makes your life more complicated. This is simple. This is old school. This is beautiful. And you sacrifice um, ease for for tradition, I guess, and for just, not routine, but for, 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 um, like a way of doing something, you know, just like for uh, the beauty of motion, uh, the, the, the beauty of doing it in a way that people did it so long ago, you know, traditional. Um, no, I, I just think it's, I think it's special for that. And I think it's worth you know, not having the ability to, you know, uh, put everything in every little corner and crevice and, and know exactly where everything is. And, or, you know, you do know where everything is actually. That's the problem with a lot of those things is you, you have to like sort it out in your mind. And this just, it declutters your mind in my opinion. Um, and it's just beautiful to look at and it, and it does take a little more effort and, but we need more effort everything's so quick now everything's so it gets done 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 you know uh everything's instantaneous now um and i just i think we do need more effort <laughs> to be uh had um and i think that's what this represents you know i i just think it's an absolutely beautiful piece of art and it's going to be a pleasure um to bring it with me on this journey and hopefully journeys to come. Um, so yeah, I'll try and catalog some, some of the happenings, uh, kind of, you know, and pr definitely probably do like a, a wrap up, uh, on afterwards. So, um, that way you can see how, uh, how it worked out and, uh, my likes and dislikes, uh, you know, this is just, this is just the beginning, so, yeah. All right, so I got back from my first trip with this baby 
um, yesterday. Um, and I just want to kind of go over how amazing it is um, and the things I learned about it, the things I like, the things I don't like, stuff like that. So first off, having it back in the house, the first thing you notice um, after having spent time with it, and I really mean to emphasize spending time with it because this, like I thought, this thing really makes you stop um, and spend time with it um, while you're, you know, on your vacation or traveling, whatever. Um, is when you see it in your house, like just like sitting there, uh, typically it's in my closet, um, it just calls out to you. It, it calls to you saying, take me back out. I want to go travel, I want to live, I want to be free. Um, it, it just has this um, sense of adventure um, associated with it. You know, it's so beautiful and you remember every moment of using it um, and, and opening it and closing it and uh, just all that was involved. Um, it's great. I, I don't, you know, I, I didn't baby it in any way. You know what I mean? Like I used it. Um, I don't really see any um, big scratches or anything, but I don't care, honestly. Um, I'll, I'll be happy to have some scratches on it. So, um, so yeah, I don't know where to start first. Uh, first off, the thing's amazing. Um, you really notice all the details. Like, I didn't in the beginning like the burgundy, uh, but now it's like a splash of, of flair uh, that I totally enjoyed because this is what you see every time. Um, and I always open it on the floor um, because it's just easier because it is heavy. Uh, so that's probably where I should start. It's heavy. Um, and especially when it's full, uh, it gets pretty darn heavy. And I have kind of a bad lower back and I've had some issues with that in the past. So this is not something that I honestly picked up um, like, like this very much um, or even with this handle. Um, I typically used um, the wheels, um, which was actually fine for me, you know. I, I look at it and I, I say, oh, I want it to be, um, you know, you want it to be modern while also being, um, you know, timeless and, and classic. And it, so it, it both brings you back um, to another time, but at the same time, it also mixes with the modern world. It mixes with the way people dress and the way we live and the environment we're in now. Honestly, I would probably, now knowing uh, and having used it, I would opt for um, having the four wheels. Um, it might make it a little too modern for my taste, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I would totally opt um, for having four wheels uh, rather than the um, two, I think. Because there were moments where I was like trying to use it and it would just kind of... Um, was hard to get over certain things and move it in a certain direction and I felt like a little um, stupid <laughs> to, to, to say it um, however uh, you know I can like that it's just yeah I just felt kind of like not as efficient uh, and, and practical as I should uh, as I'd like to but I'm telling you every time you open this sucker it, it's just it's an experience um, and you're greeted with um, your clothes laid out in a way that's very easy to see them. Um, you know, you're greeted with certain smells, uh, certain feeling uh, to, to, of the touch. You, 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 you adjust these. It you have to take your time, you know, to adjust these, uh, undo them, uh, redo them, you know, get your clothes. It's just, it's really an experience every time. And it, it just reminds you, uh, it, it, it draws you in. Um, so talking, talking about, um, like, um, flair, like <laughs> of how nice, um, this piece is in terms of how it, um, draws attention to itself. But I'll tell you, I, you know, um, I have a lot of, you know, nice uh, articles of clothing or whatnot. I have, uh, you know, I'm sorry, it's hard to get on with one hand. I have, uh, you know, I have, uh, what, a, you know, $4,000 Amiga watch on. I 
wearing Crockett and Jones shoes, $600 shoes, you know. But none of those things really draw much attention um, from people. And people don't really look at it and say, you know, think too much of it. Um, but this thing, let me tell you, man, this thing draws so much attention. Now, I made a point to every time uh, we got out, I would take it. Um, not like this, because like I said, it was too heavy. Though, in the, in, and on the last uh, day, I did, we did check into a hotel, and there wasn't much left in my suitcase. Um, and so, I did take it. Um, and, and kind of held it like a suitcase, but then I definitely wheeled it around and I was at the, um, check-in, uh, you know, I'm sitting here wheeling it around at the check-in, right? And I prop it up like this, you know, I'm checking in and I will tell you every person I walked past, every person, um, in line, check this thing out. Um, they had literally like the lady next to me just she was checking in and she just kept looking at it because it's just it's that beautiful um and you know it's one of those things like if you like that sort of thing if you like sort of a, a, ten, a little bit of attention uh with something um that you have that you own for whatever reason whether it's uh, insecurity um that's definitely an aspect for me um whether you just like a little bit of attention uh, or whether you like to sort of inspire people. Um, and, you know, the, we've all had that person that we saw um, sort of do something, you know, uh, or, or look a certain way and we say to ourselves, oh my gosh, that's, I want that. Like, I want that thing that they have, or I, I like, I, well, that's how I want to dress, you know, or that's how I want to look, you know? And uh, I definitely saw that happening a few times. And it's, it's always nice to be able to sort of provide that, um, you know, uh, for people, uh, you know, cause people have often provided that for me, uh, you know, in my life. Um, so it's, it's, it really draws attention and I, I really think it's drawing attention more so in a way like people, you know, are, are just, they want it for themselves. They see it and they say, wow, that is really nice. That is really cool. But then they also look at you and say, oh, who, you know, well, this person has a lot of class, a lot of style, you know, luggage is one of those things that, you know, it's, it's a complete luxury, right? Like if you're spending, if you're clearly spending money on luggage, you know, it's, um, you know, a sign of what wealth, right? And so people are going to treat you differently. That's just life. <laughs> um, but you know what's great about this luggage is that you know it's nice, but it doesn't have to tell you it's nice with the L logo, Louis Vuitton, or or, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It, it's nice because it's beautiful. It's nice because it's art. And I'll tell you, I think that's what makes you just keep coming back. Um, and just loving coming back. The touch of everything. Ooh, look at that. That's got a decent scrape. Ooh, first, first good marks. Um, this probably has a lot of marks. I've been rummaging. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Those are beautiful. I'm, I'm looking forward to every, um, scrape I can get on this thing. I want this thing to look worn. So let me talk about the size. So this size is huge. Um, I would honestly, if you wanted to like carry it like this regularly, kind of like, um, you know, uh, a typical luggage, I would go, I would go for the smallest piece, uh, which doesn't have the straps. Um, yeah, I would definitely go for their smaller piece. Um, if you wanted to kind of carry it, but if you want to reel it, um, this is the perfect size. And I, I do believe it's a carry on for planes. Um, but this thing I wheeled around it before because it is freaking heavy. You can fill this sucker up and it gets heavy, bro. So <laughs> definitely um, something I wheeled around. Um, not something I really carried much until it was lighter. And then you can kind of just pick it up and, you know, if you gotta go upstairs real quick um, and then you, you know, do this. So that's really cool. But yeah, I would definitely probably get the four wheels next time. Um, and definitely, um, if I want a piece that I kind of carry with me with like, 
you know, you could have the luggage in the attache case um, in your hand at all times, something like that, I would go smaller. This is a piece of luggage that's like made to carry a lot of shit. <laughs> so it, it's big and it's heavy and it gets the job done. And, and that's, that's sort of a good thing about it. Um, so one funny thing that happened to me is that I didn't bring enough clothes. We actually ended up staying one extra day. Uh, so I had, I had to end up uh, washing um, a, a pair, a shirt um, and some socks. Uh, thankfully I had wool trousers that I was able to kind of repurpose. Um, but, you know, I, I don't, um, so that, uh, you know, that's kind of a travel tip. <laughs> Uh, always bring a like extra eh, for an extra day, and I did sort of already bring an extra um, uh, outfit, but that outfit ended up getting used at uh, night, um, so I still had to sort of rewash it for an extra day. Um, so yeah, um, that's kind of was my experience with it. I, I feel like that was very, like, everything I just said was very, um, sort of technical. <laughs> All the technical stuff and, and, and sort of emotional stuff too, but I, I really cannot, um, I cannot say enough how special this piece is. I really can't, um, it's just, it's something else. It's something else altogether. This is luggage unlike anything you own. There's nothing um, you're going to own. Um, I, you know, on duffels and, and other suitcases and whatnot. None of them just look... Look at that thing. It looks ready to go. It's begging you. Take me on an adventure. <laughs> and uh, that I didn't know until, until it became my companion. And it really felt like a companion. It really just... It slowed me down... It took me exactly to the places I wanted to be. It made me feel um, like James Bond. Absolutely. 100%. It's the coolest um, fucking piece. So when I went on a trip to Epcot, there were two things I felt that were missing. I really needed really cool luggage. Um, and I needed um, better shoes because my shoe game was absolutely horrible. And so when I came back, I got three pairs of Crockett and Jones shoes and I got the Globetrotter. And this trip um, was significantly better. Every aspect of what I disliked about that, that trip to Epcot, this trip to Savannah and Charleston was just absolutely perfect. And it was because of this and the shoes. <laughs> the shoes made it awesome too. Um, but this thing really... It just, it sets you apart and it, it gives you an air of quality and luxury and beauty and aesthetic and art and just taste. It, 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 it's like fine wine or a beautiful suit. It just really stands out. Really, you really stand out from the crowd. And to me, that's, I like that. I enjoy that for all the, the stupidest reasons and all, and all the maybe helpful reasons. You know, but um, you can see like I get like a lot of um, sort of uh, oil on it. Uh, that's because I, I put a lot of I have kind of dry hands, so I put a lot of oil uh, lotion on my hands often. Um, so I, I, I get it kind of greasy, um, but you know, it's mine, baby. <laughs> it's mine, man. So it is what it is. Um, it, it, I really, I, I, I don't want to just keep going and I'll stop pretty much here, um, but it's just absolutely beautiful and it really commands attention. Rolling around with this thing, it, it turns heads. It really turns, almost everybody's head will turn. Um, and that's kind of cool, you know? It, you know, it feels special. Um, it feels like you're adding um, to the environment. It feels like you're adding to the occasion. It has a sense of occasion associated with it even when you take it into your room um and and you just <clears throat> you bring it there and you, you open it up and it, it, it's just it, it's moments it just creates moments and and you just want to bring it with you every time um so i'm excited i'll definitely probably get another one 
um, maybe the smaller one as well, and definitely probably one with four wheels. Um, and then I'd probably get an attache case, you know, at some point as well. So, um, yeah, I hope this has helped.